campaign for Japan. Can we please have a round of applause for Rebecca Soloway? I'm Rebecca Soloway. Hello, we are Aid for Japan. We are a charity that provides long term emotional and financial support for the orphans of the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami, also known as the Tohoku disaster of 2011. I'm the charity director, and I'm really pleased to be here at Doki Doki Festival who have been supporting our charity activities for so long. On 11th of March 2011, one of the biggest tsunamis on record hit the east coast of Japan. Sadly, the area of Fukushima is still in the process of recovery today. The disaster resulted in about a quarter of a million people being displaced from their homes, 20,000 deaths, and approximately 1,000 children being left without one or both parents. Aid for Japan was started by my late mother, Akemi Tanaka, for the orphans of the tsunami. My mother went to visit many orphanages in the Tohoku region after the disaster to see if she could offer any assistance to the orphans. She began to run summer residential courses with groups of orphans in Japan and invited a few to homestay in England. This allowed them to build their confidence by experiencing a different country and a way of life, and also gave them a chance to have a fun break. Akemi's brand of cultural leadership embodied the idea that to really know about your own culture, you should experience somebody else's. If you read her book, The Power of Chawa, you will see that not only, um, you'll see that only after she moved to England was she able to become a teacher of Japanese language and culture. She wanted to give the orphans of the tsunami a similar opportunity as well as giving them something to look forward to. Ten years on since the disaster, Aid for Japan have kept in touch and continue to offer support to the orphans of the tsunami and their carers, whom Akemi first met when she travelled to Tohoku. We are a small charity run entirely by volunteers, so the work we do is on a small scale but this is also a strength. It is because we are a small and dedicated team that we are able to build close bonds with the orphans themselves as individuals. I would like to uh, point out to you in a moment Maria-chan, who was orphaned in the Tohoku disaster. She is now 21 years old and learning beauty and fashion and business at university in Tokyo. When she graduates, her dream is to become a fashion, hair and makeup stylist. With the help of your donations, the charity has paid for her flights to the UK and got her onto a training course at the Vidal Sassoon Academy, which is a prestigious hair salon in London. This experience will go on to help develop her career. Also, before Maria Chan arrived, she told me that she really loves Disney so the charity organized one of the most exciting parts of her trip, which was a day trip to Disneyland Paris. Even though we went during a heat wave, it was really good fun, and Maria Chan was the most excited I've ever seen, especially when she got to meet a Disney princess. So, Maria Chan, would you like to give an ojigi? Ojigi? Hi. This is Maria Chan. Okay, hi. So Aid for Japan offers these sorts of tailored experiences for orphans of the tsunami and next year we hope to invite a different beneficiary of the charity for a trip to England. We are also working in collaboration with a Japanese musician who is a survivor of the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Her name is Asari. Asari sings J-pop and Enka style songs and her latest single, called Share, has become our charity's official support song. She gave it to us. She created this song in collaboration with high school students in Japan who had also had first-hand experience of a devastating natural disaster like an earthquake or tsunami. Asari told us that she was moved to learn that many of these students were struggling
struggling with the responsibility of how to tell their stories, either feeling uncomfortable or shame when talking about their grief. As natural disasters such as the 2011 tsunami cause waves of collective grief, people in Japan still find it hard to share personal stories about their own loss because so many other people lost someone else they dearly loved throughout, through the tragedy. So I would like to play a clip of this music for you now so you can hear it. Kimono wearing workshops and shodo calligraphy, where you can get your name written in kanji 
art school as well, and we're collecting donations for that. So thank you very much for your support. Don't worry, I'll design my stuff.